With all of the prep work done, we can now configure the Anubis with Animan to both Mac and PC. So whether you're setting up your Anubis for a Mac or a PC, it's pretty much identical and you can use it with any DAW. The difference being uh, Windows handles audio a little bit differently than Mac when it comes to core audio processes. So let's go ahead and set that up first on a Mac. We'll need to launch System Preferences. And then we can open up the merging Ravenna AES67 driver. And the first thing we want to look out for here is what is our interface. So I'm using a Thunderbolt Ethernet connector here. That's already selected because this is set to auto, which is great. Now, with regard to latency, a safe bet is either AES67, which would be 48 samples, or since I'm working on Pro Tools on this machine, I'm going to say 64 samples because it makes the buffer size work out a little bit better. Just make sure you have the same latency set for the Anubis as you do for the Ravenna driver. To do that, we'll hold the home button on the Anubis and click on settings. From settings, we'll go to general. So you'll see here in frame mode, we have latency. So let's go ahead and change that to 64. Now we can simply hit the home button to return to the main screen. Then we have to set our number of input and output channels. And this is something that's a little bit different for Mac and for PC. So for Mac, you're going to set how many audio connections you want to make between core audio and your DAW. So I'm just going to choose 16 here because we're just going to be using the Anubis in this situation. So I'm going to make sure I have 16 inputs and 16 outputs. Although you see we have many choices and we can go all the way up to 128 with this driver of inputs and outputs. Here we see it says the driver is running and locked and it sees my MacBook and it sees the Anubis. So that's great. And directly from this window, we can launch Animan and we'll make this full screen. Let's say zoom all just to make sure that it's easy to see. Okay. So now we see the core audio and we see the Anubis. So we're going to need to set a new sample rate zone. So let's click this button here. Now we're going to say we want our core audio to be the master and we want the Anubis to be a part of this system. The next thing we want to do is select by dragging a marquee. And now we can see our matrix. So you can see all 16 outputs and all 16 inputs. Now, if we want to get audio from channels one and two, when we say output audio one and two from core audio, we're going to have to connect it in this matrix. So let's look at DAW one and two and we can click and drag or you can simply just click each box. And we're gonna say apply unicast. So now it takes a second and it'll change color. And now there's a connection made there. So we see here, we have two outputs going from core audio to the Anubis. Now we wanna set up our input channels. So we've got five input channels. We have our combo jacks one and two, three and four, and then the built-in mic, which is the talk back. So we can click and just drag to the right and you'll see now these blocks are green and they're ready to use. So we can hit apply unicast and now we have two output connections made and five input connections made and we can see that reflected here. That's pretty much it. Let's take a look at how to get this far on a PC. So the setup is basically identical for Mac or PC. The only difference being in the way that Windows handles its core audio or its ASIO stream, however you want to think about it, connecting from the operating system to a device. So if you remember ADAT, if you wanted to record at 44.1 or 48, you had a different number of channels available to you than if you wanted to record at 88.2 or 96 and so on and so forth. It kind of works like that in Windows. So all we'll have to do is if we want 16 96K channels, Instead, we'll change our number of input and output channels to 32, and that's just allocating a different amount of resources to this audio stream in Windows. So we'll go ahead and set it up for 32 since we set the Mac up for 16 96K channels. And then because we set our latency to 64 on the Mac, we'll go ahead and set that to 64 here as well. So we'll hit apply, and that should be all we need to do. So we've got some audio imported. Let's hit play. And I can hear audio coming from my headphones and metering is happening on the Anubis. So success.